Hey guys, welcome back to My Neck of the Woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience and my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I have a product review on a ground blind. Today is January 1st. Uh, hunting season here in Massachusetts is officially over. And I'm going to do a, um, a product review on the Ameristep tent chair. It's a, it's a ground blind with a chair attached to it. I absolutely love it. I used it the entire season, so I figured I'd bring it out here. I'm on my deck and um, show you what it's like. It's, it's a great product, um, but I, I got some things to say about it. So before I get started, please sub the channel, like my videos, and make some comments. So here it is in its broken down form. Uh, it, it, it weighs about, I'd say about, probably about 10 or 11 pounds. Mine weighs a little bit more. It's been sitting in the back of my truck, so it's got a little waterlogged. But I'm going to set it up and show you how it uh, goes together. Basically, it's a, um, uh, as you can see, it's one of those chairs that you would buy at Walmart that we all take to our barbecues and family gatherings and whatnot. And all you do is, it's got straps on it, right here. It's got a strap on it, and that holds it together. And all you do is just pop that out, and it opens up, just like this, into a chair. So you put the chair down like so, and you just bring the blind up and over it, and then you are good to go, and you have the ground blind. I'll move it back a little bit here so you can see the whole thing. There is, um, you have stakes in it too, so you can stake it and uh, leave it there if you want, but as far as breaking it down, it's exactly the same. I'm going to show you. Just take it. Slide it right over, and you're done for the most part. And I'm going to get inside, show you how roomy it is, and then uh, you can make your own decisions from there. I'll right? tell you some of my experiences. I've shot, uh, shot, uh, shot three deer this season. Two of them are out of this. I shoot with a crossbow. Um, it's specifically made for crossbows or um, firearms. I think it'd be. I, I don't hunt with a rifle or a shotgun or even a muzzle loader. I think it'd be a little difficult, and I'll show you why. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hop in it. Well, this is all you do. You find your level ground, you sit in it, and then here it goes, right up and over. It's got a big window in the front here. Um, you can even break it down further, uh, less if you want to. There's another smaller window. I'll show you that. If you wanted less coverage, you could have this window in here. Hello. And uh, I like the big window. Opens up. Uh, like I said, you can stake it down. I find it's really good for the crossbow. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer and show you how much room I actually have in here. All right? So stay tuned for that. All right, so here I am inside. And here's that big window in the front, and you really kind of have a lot of room in here. Granted, you can't stand up, and you can't swivel, and you can't move too much. But when we're out hunting, we don't move that much anyway. Kind of got the sun in my eyes here a little bit. Um, anyway, you really got the gist of it. So, out the side, you have some side windows here, and you have the same windows on this side here. But it's really hard to get to your weak side. Like, if you, you can't really, like, like even you'd have to shoulder your weapon on the opposite shoulder. And that's hard for me because my, I'm, I, I'm a, I shoot, I'm a lefty, and my right eye is really, really poor. Unless I wanted to put it on the other and use my other eye, but I'd really have to practice with it. So for me to get to my weak side, it's difficult. I can come out the front here, and obviously I have all this, and you can, and I could shoot through these windows with my crossbow without a problem, for the most part. But getting to that weak side, I find that it's really difficult. You, you can't really get there. But Ameristep does have a deluxe model, and it, it was advertised as a double. And I thought it was two chairs, which would be stupid to put two people in something like this. But it isn't. It's an extra wide chair. So it's, it's probably about, you got another foot on each side, and it's just a gigantic chair. So I think for my next season, I'm going to get that. Obviously, I'll do a review on it after the season. but. Um, I, I think for my next season I'm going to use that because it's going to give me that opportunity to kind of like pick up my bottom and then move the other direction to shoot my crossbow. Um, 
you could modify this, you know, a little bit. You could put maybe a swivel chair in it or something like that. It has these, um, I'm going to bring the camera a little closer here. A little bouncy here. It has these sort of brackets on the inside here. This is what kind of holds it together. And you find, I find that sometimes they want to pull forward and this really wants to come down. I think ideally you should um, stake in the back and we want this to kind of sit up a little bit. As I can bring it back here and show you a little bit. I'm going to do a walk around too. So ultimately this kind of comes forward. Ultimately you want it up just a little bit more. But as far as room in here, you have, I, I mean I could stretch my feet out and they still be covered by the blind. Get in my face here a little bit. Still be covered by the blind. I've got pretty good arm length here. I, have a, I bring a pack with me and I'll take the pack and I'll just stick it right to the side of the chair and it's not a problem. I got good, good um, space on the side of the chair. You got a drink holder. The chair for, for the most part is remotely comfortable. I'm 6'2", six, I'm 230 pounds and I mean I can move my arms like this for the most part. You got, I mean you can't stand up. I mean if you do need to stretch a little bit you can, you can move a little bit, you know, move it a little bit, whatnot, you know. But I'm going to do a walk around from the outside of it and um, see what you guys think. And then I'll fold it up and show you guys how, how easily it folds down. All right, stay tuned. All right, so here we are completely, oh, there's my crab trap. So here we are completely set up here. So I come on in. Hopefully you can see in there. The chair, it's a regular size chair. You do have, you got, you got pretty good leg room. I mean, out in the front, you got a good three feet in the front there. You can even stretch it out. And then there's the back, around the sides here. This is my strong side shooting right here. Like I said, I'm able to shoot out those sides, no problem. But over here, and the windows, I feel like they're a little bit higher on my weak side. I have trouble shooting out of those. In fact, I can't. I might be able to, this first one here, I might be able to get a shot out of that. But this one coming over here, there's, there's no chance, unless I shoulder it on the opposite side. All right, but that for the most part is uh, the Ameristep tent ground line. And here we are. All right, so I'm going to break it down and uh, show you guys how that's done. All right, here I am. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to let you see how it breaks down. Super easy. Um, super easy in the dark, super easy getting in out of the woods. There's no problems. Just take it, go from the front. You gotta bring it all the way back like so. And these straps right here, they're gonna be in the back. These are your two straps here. Ultimately, what you wanna do is you would just really just, you're gonna kind of fold it up like any other chair you would fold up for the most part. All right, you're gonna bring these in, and then you're gonna grab the straps on each side. So I got each strap like this, you grab it, you fold it up, All right. you got one, and those, those wire or those metal pieces, ultimately you're just going to suppress them in, like this. You just suppress them in, of course I'm struggling here, right? And you hold them, and you just grab it, and you clip it, just the same way you unclipped it. For the most part. That's easy. And then you're ready to go. And all there is a bag where you can take it and you can suppress it even more and use it the carry bag. But for the most part I just grab it like this. Walk it into the woods, I have my crossbow in one hand, pack on my back, and I'm good to go. Alright? That's all I got for you. Sub the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Be well.